mirror, mirror on the wall, or in this case in my hand, who's the fairest of them all? Not me. I need some color pop in my life. Okay. Hey guys, and welcome back. It's Kat and welcome to Cat's Eye. Today, the mirror is telling me I need some color pop in my life. I always feel like I've been misunderstood. <gasps> Do you know what we're getting at today? You betcha. What am I, Midwestern now? We are talking about today. Yes, there she is. ColourPop's new Disney Villains Misunderstood eyeshadow palette. OMG, I am so excited because I've always been misunderstood. I always have that RBF face because I'm Asian. Like, hello, look. Do I look angry? Yeah, I'm not angry. I'm just probably thinking about what I want to eat next or, you know, if I have to go to the bathroom or not. But anyway, I'm super excited. We are going to dive into this palette. Um, I want to channel Maleficent because she was kind of my favorite villain. And of course, you know, ColourPop came out with that whole collection. I have the eyeshadow palette today. Yes, it's called Misunderstood. It has 15 pans of eyeshadow and it has intense mattes color shifting dual chromes, and of course, rich metallics. It is a limited edition, ladies and gents. You better run out and get it because this is a gorgeous palette. Let's take a look at her. Is that not amazing? I hope the lights can catch it. You guys, I'm super excited. Today, we're gonna dive in with a look. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but uh, I hope you will hang with me and we're gonna have some fun with ColourPop's new Disney Villains Misunderstood eyeshadow palette. Yay, okay. So, I've already primed my eyelids. I went in with my MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre and I actually used a really great new brush um, from Flower Beauty. Um, it's the concealer brush, but I went in and just applied the paint pot over my lids. I figured with all this pigment and all this color, I really want the color to just grip onto my eyes. So let's start out with, I think I wanna try out first No Spots. It's the super white one up here and I wanna go over my up in my eyebrow up here just as a oh she white she is wow look at that it kind of reminds me of the days when i was putting on my stage makeup as a ballet dancer we always put white up just to accentuate our eyebrows and make sure they're defined and then the next color i want to go in with I'm just going to clean off this Chanel brush I got years ago, but it's fabulous quality. Um, I'm going to go in with Tragic because it looks like a very nice neutral color. This one right here. So I'm just going to brush this all over the lid up to my brow bone here. And so far the colors are just super beautiful, really grabbing on. I can't lie, I kind of cheated and played around with it today. So we're just going to go in as a nice base here. And I know you probably can't tell there's any color on there, but trust me, there is color. All right, so I'm just going to take a clean, fluffy brush and just smooth it out, soften up the no spots so it's not so jarring. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Devious, which is this matte color right here. That looks like a great transition color. So I'm gonna take my MAC brush and just tap it off, and I'm gonna go in right over my brow bone just to help out my hoods, my hoodie lids, and open it up just a little bit more that's what happens when you're 52 years old. Your eyes start to go. Ugh. Well, we're gonna we're gonna fix that today. We're gonna open it up. Okay. This I love this color. And you know what? You think with all these crazy colors in here, you would think you can't get an everyday look, but you can. It's all in how you apply it and how much you apply. Now I'm just gonna take this clean, fluffy brush and I'm just gonna buff it out like so. And it's just so pigmented, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. 
And that's beautiful. Right? And just blend, 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 blend. Okay. I think that's nice right there. All right. So, hmm. Oh my gosh. Which one should I go in? The blue is really calling my name. And I'm going to go into the fates. I'm scared, but I'm excited at the same time. So, tap off the excess. And I'm going to go right into... Wow, this is so pigmented. And I'm going to go up, pull it up, and then go in on the other side. I'm telling you, the paint pot makes a huge difference. You will not have any patchiness. Um, like I said, I use soft ochre for my skin tone, but I understand painterly is more for pink tone. Uh, skin tones. Wow, look at that. Holy macaronis. This is so pretty. And you know what? Here's another thing. When I got to be around 50, yeah, I read somewhere and I, ugh, this makes me angry. I'm going to get angry for a second. Can I get angry for a second? I read somewhere that um, when you, when you turn a certain age, you should stop wearing certain types of makeup, like eyeshadow or shimmery eyeshadow. And I just want to say, what the hell? You know what? You do you. Whatever age you are, don't listen to anybody else what they think you should look like. If you want to wear that bright lipstick or if you want to wear, you know, sparkly eyeshadow, shimmery eyeshadow, glitter, I say go for it. Whatever makes you happy, because I'm at a point in my life where I just don't listen anymore. Ask my husband. I really don't and I think you can be beautiful in whatever what you want to do so I listened to that article listen to it when I read it I was like I'm well you're right I'm 50 I shouldn't wear fun eyeshadow anymore I did that for like six months it drove me crazy and I didn't feel pretty I didn't feel natural anyway that, that was my beef clean fluffy brush and just soften it up around the corners and try to pull it in just a hair. You guys, this, this palette retails for $22 and I think it's worth every penny. And like I said, it's limited edition. So if you're into the Disney villains, you should definitely grab it while you can. Okay. Comment down below if you have a favorite villain. Okay. So I think this is looking really good and it's not patchy at all. This is so stunning. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe we should go in with Jetsam or Facile. Facile, which one do you think I should go in with? Raise your hands. You know what? Mm, this oh, this green is speaking to me. I think I'm going to do the green and I think I'm going to take it on my finger and just pat it on to my eyelid and see how that goes. So let's see what if she has. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? It kind of looks like an olively, olively, olivey green. She is gorgeous. I don't mean to be flicking you off, but okay. I'm going to put it right on my lid right here and pack it on. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Oh wow. Okay. I promise I'm not flicking the bird. Okay, so this the seal is going on gorgeous. Wow. Super, super pigmented. Can you see that? I love it. Actually, I'm going to take that brush and kind of blend it in back and forth. This is so pretty. And you know what? There's very little fallout very little fallout in this case it's just it's just gripping on like amazing okay so I'm gonna 
why don't we go ahead and try a little bit you know I want to try this I want to try jetsam and just see how it looks I'm going to put it out towards the edge of my eye to deepen up that corner oh my gosh this is stunning Wow incredible what I want to do I'm going to take I think I want to smoke out the bottom of my eye with that the fates and this is probably too big of a brush but I'm gonna go for it anyway this is so pretty okay Oh, I have eyes now. You see that? Awfully blend that out. And you know, I think I'm gonna get a little bit more of the facile and just take a tiny, tiny brush, my Morphe brush, and just gonna pop a little bit right on the inner corner of my eye, dragging it out just a hair to there. Wow. Oh, okay. So what should we pop into the corner of the highlight? I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Diablo is speaking to me. Do you think that's too dark or should we try Flossum? Let's go in with Flossum. I think I want to try Flossum. Oh, this is pretty. And these, I cannot tell you that the formulas are so creamy. Flossum is so buttery and just smooth. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's pretty. I think I'm going to pop a little bit of Flossum right up through here. Just a tad. Right through there. Ooh. I think I like it. I think I like it. Yes, this is the Flossum. It's like an iridescent pink shimmer. It is so buttery and so creamy. My husband's, I'm going to come out of the, the room and he's going to be like, what the hell happened to you? Just having fun. I'm just going to blend that out. Okay. What do you think so far? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop on some, uh, pop on some eyeliner and yes, I'm going to finally put on false eyelashes. I mean, I know I never do. And it's been about 15 years since I've done it since I was a professional dancer, but I'm going to go for it and see how it looks with this look. So stay right tuned. Stay right tuned. I'll be right back. And here we are with the final look. Now, I did put on some eyelashes and I went in with my eyeliner. I also checked out this new color, this one, Revenge. It is this jet black corner color right here in the corner and it's got a little bit of glitter in there. And I just smoked out the bottom of my eye and connected it to the top. I also took the face on another smaller brush and I brought it up a little higher to make my eyes pop because I do have hooded eyes and it, I always have that droopy eyed look. So what do you think of the look? Is this something you'd be into? I know it's a lot and it's probably a look that I wouldn't wear every day, but if it was a special occasion, heck yeah, at night. And if you're shying away from this palette because you think it's too glitzy, too shimmery, I wouldn't because you've got these beautiful matte colors right through here that you can use for an everyday look. And then you're thinking, well, I want just a little pop of color. You could totally use any of these shimmers just to pack on just a little bit for that little glimmer. So I hope you like this review. Um, let me know down in the comments if you are thinking about this palette and if you're nervous about trying this palette. I'll be honest, I was kind of nervous because I was like, there's no way I could pull this off. But you know what? You just do you. And remember, who's the fairest one of them all? You are. Thanks guys so much for watching. Remember, I upload every Sunday and Wednesday and I will see you soon. Bye.